Hey guys, welcome back to RK Garage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you haven't already. Today, we are revisiting how to flash a NA VX VU or VY ECU. I've got one here. This is fresh out of a car that I'm doing for a customer. Uh, it was a auto. Needs to be the brown and tan plug. It will not work with the blue and pink. That is for uh, VS, VT and all L67 factory models. It will not work as they are Memcal or people know them as chip based. These are flash based. So I'm going to get the screen capture going and then I'm going to run through exactly how you do it. Okay guys, so like I said, you got your ECU. First off, you need to download some programs. So we'll come over here. You need to download Tuna Pro RT. Make sure it is the, uh, the RT version. So as you saw, type it into Google what you need. Go to here, go to downloads, Tuna Pro things, and don't click this one here. I'm circling, make sure you click this here. So I already downloaded and installed it. The other thing you need is OSE Flash Tool. So you find that, you type that in, OSE Flash Tool, it will bring you to PCM Hacking. And you can go there, you download it here. Download it, install it. I've already done that as well. Then you can go to Google to get the stuff you need. So for this, uh, you type in V1 Enhanced Factory Bin. And it should be this top one here. Click on it, it should look like this. And then here you go. So uh, if you've got a VX or VU, you click this one. If you have a VY, you click that. So you download that, which I've already done. You open it, you know, extract the zip, la -di -da, -di da Then you open your Tuna Pro. And when you open it, let it run its thing here, the, the seconds. So wait for that to be done. All right, then you go file, open bin. Uh, you open the one that's labeled as .bin there, then you want to go to XDF, select the XDF. And you don't need to do this, but I always do it anyway. Acquisition, road acquisition there. Then you have all your tables here, which I'm pointing to, but you know, I'm circling with the mouse. Now, this is what you do to connect the ECU in. So, I've got my bench harness, so I'm just going to be doing that. So. Got my bench harness here, so you can wire it in. So you only use one plug. I'll just wire it in so it uses all three, just just to be safe, basically. If I can get this glass in, there we go. So that's in. Then I've got my OBD port there. Plug it in to the ALDL cable. There we go, ECU's on. Now is when you can open OSE Flash Tool. So, before you do anything, this is 100% what you need to do. Go to Options, Preferences. Now, for Vehicle, if you are plugged into your car, you will click here, Flash PCM in Vehicle. Now, I'm doing it on my bench harness, so I will pick on Bench. And then interface, make sure you click USB ALDL. And the COM port should be picked as you have it all plugged in. Now when you're coming down to this here, one thing you have to do, I repeat, you have to do, otherwise you risk bricking it, is this here. Flash PCM auto fix checksum. Make sure you click that. Otherwise, you will brick your ECU if something goes wrong. And quite often, when they put their plug into the car, they can. So once that's done, click OK. Now, I'm going to show you how quick it is for the ECU to connect. So, there. Now we are connected to the ECU. So, now that we're connected, I'm going to go back across to Tuna Pro. Now, all these here should already be done. So, I go to Option flags and then no that so that's disable if it is the set is clicked then it means the vats are off 
Um, if set is enabled, it's manual. I'm doing this for a manual transmission, so I will be going manual transmission set and then get track VSS. So this means I'll get the speedo from VSS there. And then I'm going to save the bin as and then just in this folder here VY V6 enhance manual BIM okay so I've got my file saved you guys can do the same with whatever thing or you can just get the raw file so now I go back to OIC now most importantly the first time you write the new bin in, like a complete new bin, not a modified one. Do not write write cow. Make sure you do write bin, which takes a bit longer. So for example, for this one here, write bin, and you know, it'll give you all those warning stuff, click yes. Then it will ask where you want to get your thing from. So for here, so this is where I downloaded it. So I'm gonna put the auto tune in first to show you guys. So this is here, straight downloaded off the internet. The This is the ones enhanced bin. You double click that, and you can see now that it is going. So I'm gonna let this run, do its course in real time, and I'll probably have time markers here. So um, I'll put it up on the screen. You should be able to see down the bottom along the timeline, click where it's about to end. So, we'll let this go. All right, hopefully this is the last bit. There we go, so now it's auto fix check summing there. Now this is where people get a lot of, a lot of people get scared. So, you have to click yes here. You click no, you will brick the ECU. So, click yes. And it will do its last little thing. There we go. It has been written to the ECU, all is good. So now you can connect again. There we go, see so it's found this. So now for here is where after you've uh, written the bin in the first time, now you can go in and adjust all your different little things you want to do, like the fans and this and that. So this time you do write cow, click yes. And then here you see my modified one here that I did that we earlier in the video you click this and now it will go to this and this time it only takes about the 40 seconds that it shows there so I won't time lapse this um, we'll do this and once I've done that I'm going to go back in and edit the thermo fans so that they come on a bit early this is for a drift car so try to keep the temperatures a bit colder for them go three seconds left we'll do the same thing again you gotta click so check something and it's all done so click OK that's all good so now I'm gonna go back over to here I'm gonna to go to thermofan so low cooling temp is 104 I'm gonna bring that to 80 for him and it, that will disable at 78. Python will bring that on at 98 and that will disable at 95. So that's some pretty good numbers there for a drift car. So we'll save bin as VY enhanced manual bin thermos adjusted save there go back into here right cow and thermo is adjusted it will do the same thing again so I'll time lapse this
we go, that's all good. And when you're done, before you disconnect, make sure you click disconnect like that. And now you're all done. So that there is once again another video on how you flash the flash based PCMs. Um, hopefully that helps. If not, again, feel free to send me messages, comments, da 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 da. Don't forget to subscribe, please, if you haven't already. Um, you'll get to see all the cars that I work on, especially the main one for this channel, which is my forged and cammed Turbo V6 Ecotech Commodore. It's in a VY sedan. Uh, it's also T56 converted, S1 sequential shifter. You know, it's kind of cool, got a bit going on there. But anyway, that'll do for this one. So I'll see you guys on the next.